this is the beginning of it. Welcome, 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 welcome to the pines, the pines, the pines, pine barrens, the pine barrens of New Jersey, welcome to the pines, <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Welcome to the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, a tranquil place where mysterious things happen. <laughs> Devious? Ooh, no, mysterious, yes. Yes. This is going to be an experience. A different kind of experience. Something... Something you've been through before. Something you might have never been through before. Something you... Well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see, and hopefully you'll enjoy. Welcome, my friends, to The Pines. <laughs> Sleep at night, dreaming, fantasizing, <laughs> in this wonderful world that your subconscious has made for you. And then, all of a sudden, you're woken by a weird light, a strange fixation behind you. You wonder, what is that light? What is it doing? What is it doing to me? It pulls you closer. It makes you wonder. Why? Why me? But don't worry. time looking around. I spent a lot of time telling you not to feel, not to think. But why? Why does it matter to you? Why does it matter to me? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what you're thinking right now. I wonder what's going through your head at this very moment. doesn't matter. Because I've already won. You're watching this. <laughs> Which means I've got your attention. Alright. But back to the main topic. Dreams. I've had multiple dreams. A multitude of dreams. Ones where I could be flying around the world. Ones where I could be shooting a gun. Ones where I could be the president of the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> I've also had dreams where I've been alone chased by something, something I cannot outrun, that feeling, that feeling that you can't outrun, this figure chasing you, and in, 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 in every journal or essay or, or article that I've read, it says turn around and face that darkness, face that, that, that fear behind you, it's a dream, why don't you just turn and face it? 
You can't. When you, even when you try to turn around, time slows down to a blur. You, you can't strangle it. You, you can't hit it over the head. You know, any instinct that your brain reverts to, you can't do it because this fear just, it, it, it immobilizes you. How can your, I mean, I, 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 I understand how your brain can do it, but why? I'm not going to sit here and, and give you the answers. No, I can't. I, I went to culinary school. I, I don't know shit about the human brain. But what I, I do know shit about is experience. Um, I, I have experienced this before. I've experienced lucid dreams. I've experienced dreams where, you know, I, I don't even exist. I, I'm looking through the eyes of somebody else. I've experienced dreams where I'm an animal, where I'm in the forest, foraging, perhaps, for a meal. I've also experienced dreams where <laughs> my actual dreams come true. I'm there with the girl I love. She's in my arm, we're kissing, the sun's setting, <laughs> it's beautiful, you should really check it out sometime. But where am I going with this? What is the point? Why, why give the ability to dream? Why? evolutionarily whatever the term would be why has evolution given us the ability to dream I, I, I wonder that do monkeys dream do apes dream do dogs dream do fish dream do dolphins dream dolphins that's a good one dolphins are pretty smart pigs pigs are also pretty smart do they dream? What do they dream about? They, the dolphins dream about swimming? Do they even think about swimming? Alright, alright, sorry, sorry. I'm trailing off. Again, uh, our, our mind. I, I can break down into areas. Uh, areas isn't the right word. Um, how humans have got to where how humans have evolved to where we are today is, is, is through our intelligence um, when we were apes we somehow discovered you know fire fire helped cook meat cooking the meat you know even partially the way through it helped digest it partially for us hence leaving more energy less energy to digest food more energy to think more energy to to you know uh, you know I'm not, I'm not too concerned about eating the hell so <laughs> what am I gonna do with myself <laughs> oh, I'll think All right, well, I got this fire oh, this fire is pretty cool what am I gonna do with this fire cook food, we evolve, we learn, you know, even um, gathering crops, you know, the first humans to, to, to realize that you can eat wheat, barley, and oats, after eating that, they realized, you know, oh, this is, this is edible, <laughs> wow, shit, I don't gotta hunt for it, you know, and that allowed us to spend less time worrying about the hunt and the gather and we could sit around and, and wonder wonder and wander in our minds the evolution of humans 
I'm putting it very, very lightly. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, obviously. But uh, somewhere down the somewhere down the road of that evolution, we got the ability to, to dream. And I've seen, you know, my ex dog. I see my ex dog because she's dead. Yeah, rest her soul. But you know, I see my ex dog now. Yeah, I used to see her kicking. You know, wow, 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 wow. Not dogs don't sound like that, but wow, wow. Woof, woof, woof. There we go. And <laughs> I would see her kick in the night, and I wonder where's her mind racing her. Is she like running around a cornfield right now, chasing a fucking deer? Do dogs dream? I can't ask my cats if they dream. You know, I can't look at my cat and be like, hey. Hey, you dreaming right now? Meow. Meow. And it'd be like, you know, yeah, I understood that. That made sense. I understand that cat. That cat said it was dreaming. All right. It doesn't work like that. No, no. You know, and, and scientists can sit there and they can you know, put their little fucking little head nets on cats and be like, well, the areas of their fucking brain is glowing on my screen and I, I can tell it's dreaming right now. You don't know shit, alright? None of us know shit. So do humans. Uh, again, I haven't done much research in any of these topics or subjects. But the ability to dream, it's... It's like a gift. <laughs> Is it a gift? Would you call it a gift? I don't know. If you believe in evolution to the to the T, to the period, to, you know, whatever, then I would call it a gift. Even if you believed in religion, you know, if you're a Christian, if you're Jewish, if you're Muslim, it's a gift given to you by your creator, you know? I'm not Jewish, I'm not <laughs> Christian, I'm not <laughs> Islamic, uh, I'm not Buddhist, you know, I, I believe in more of a great order of things, which is beyond, be way beyond my comprehension, so I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it, cause you know, I can never, as a human, comprehend what is greater than me. So why waste any fucking time and day thinking about it? I'm never going to get there. I'm never going to be that. Just work on me. Let's just be me. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Alright. But, like, I just... Call dreams a gift. Call dreams <sighs> evolution, a trait that we need to survive. I, I don't know. They're mystical. They're magical. They're, they're something out of this world. I don't. Huh. I had a dream once where I. <laughs> I, I was flying over my town and. I got to where my, my, my family's local business is, and I, I spun around in the sky, and oh, the clouds were swirling around me, it was amazing, you should have been there, and then all of a sudden this, this, this light blew from beneath me, and this fire, oh, this fire overcame the entire town! But I was there, I was there flying over above it, and we, my breath, my the breath within my lungs. <gasps> and the town was saved. Maybe it was the spit in my breath that turned into raindrops. I don't know. Maybe it was the wind. Because, you know, wind, wind feeds fire. So I, <laughs> it didn't make sense. So maybe it was the spit in my breath that, that put that fire out. But, you know, somehow I saved town and me save my hometown if you know me personally and me save my hometown that's no great feat I wouldn't I wouldn't brag about that let it burn you know? what, what, 
what, what, what do I care? <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, I saved it, and, and, and that, that joy, that joy actually woke me up. And I, I sat up in my bed in the middle of the night, and I'm like, whoa. What the hell was that all about? Well, I, well you know, and, and you try and put yourself back to sleep, and <laughs> you put your head back in the pillow in the same spot it was. You're trying to think the exact same thought before you woke up, and you're trying to, like, all right, hopefully I can get back into this dream, or, or hold on, I'm a guy. I, I, I once had a dream where I was, um, making love to a beautiful female. She may or, she may or may not have been my current girlfriend at the time. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, define that aspect. Um, but she was a beautiful girl. She was, uh, mmm, mmm, pick of the crowd. I mean, ah, I hate the, yeah, I forgot I said that, but she was beautiful. Um, and you know, I'm making love to her, and it's, it, 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 it's a beautiful, beautiful experience. And uh, right before you, 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 you climax, you wake up, and you're like, oh, I'm all sweaty, and the window's open, the fan's on, I'm freezing cold. You jump up, you close the window, you turn the fan off, you jump back in the covers, and... You put your head in that same sweaty, nasty spot on your pillow, and you're like, please, please, let me close my eyes so I can see her again. Please, let me see her again. You close your eyes, you lay there, and some, you know, like, I, nine times out of ten, you probably can convince yourself to go back into that dream. But the other one out of ten times, you can't. And you just sit there, and darkness, looking at your eyelids. It's so back to the point of this. Dreams. God-given. Evolution-given. <sighs> Just a freak of fucking nature. I... I'm an optimist. You know, but at the same time, being an optimist, I believe in, you know, multiverses. You know, anything can fucking happen. There's, there's a universe where I can't dream. There's a universe where God does exist. There's a universe where Jesus never existed. There's a universe where Jesus was a dream of a white guy. And somehow he wrote this Bible. And this Bible somehow became the first printed book. And, you know. don't know because you know what we weren't there <sighs> dreams dreams I mean let me let me get to light the situation here dreams are a dime a dozen I have a journal. In my journal, I write down certain dreams that I've had. You know, if, if the dream makes sense to me, I, 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 I write it down. Uh, if, if I can't remember the dream, or if I remember bits and pieces of the dream, you know, I, I, I don't want to stare and make up the pieces I don't remember, so I, I just don't write it down. If the dream, if I can remember the dream in, in detail, then I will write it down. And I have a journal that is composed of dreams, basically. And, you know, sometimes I'll go back and I'll look at that journal and I'll, I'll flip through the pages and I'll, I'll see, you know, a current theme. You know, I look really fucking depressed. <laughs> well, I'm killing a lot of people in these dreams. Maybe I should kill somebody. Or, you know, I'm robbing a lot of banks in these dreams. Maybe I should rob a bank.
one person. It's like a fucking cliche. I don't know. All I do know is that this vodka is a hundred proof. And it goes down like 40 proof vodka, which is the standard for <laughs> any vodka. So I say cheers to that. Yes, I chase. Cause you're wondering. And on that note, my good friends, I'm gonna have to say good night. What was the point to this? Dreams. Enjoy them. Enjoy them while they last. Enjoy them while you have them. If they're lucid, control everything. Do what you want because you know what? Lucid dreams are the best. Lucid dreams are the dreams that you're And remember. You're not alone in this world. I mean, <laughs> we all have these thoughts. We all have these dreams. Just remember. I don't know. I can say just remember all night. It doesn't matter what the fuck I'm saying, because, you know, probably not listening at this point. <laughs>